Welcome to the Society for Pediatric Pain Medicine Visual Pearl Series. Today's topic is desensitization for complex regional or neuropathic pain syndrome. The collaborators are Sarina Majmunda, Jenny Wagner, and the Stanford Medicine Children's Health Pain Team. Desensitization for complex regional pain syndrome or neuropathic pain is a technique that improves nervous system response to unpleasant stimuli through graded exposure. These unpleasant stimuli are previously tolerable by a patient prior to their experience with CRPS or neuropathic pain. For instance, patients with CRPS or neuropathic pain might find it challenging to do everyday tasks like placing their affected arm under the shower stream, putting on shoes or socks, touching their affected limb, or allowing others to touch it. These once manageable activities have become painful due to their condition. Desensitization aims to gradually expose patients to these discomforts to help them regain some level of tolerance and ease their pain responses. The main goal of desensitization is to teach the body not to interpret certain stimuli as painful and restore the body's interpretation to a state where those stimuli are no longer perceived as painful. These stimuli can encompass various sensations like different textures, fabrics, pressures, vibrations, tapping, or changes in temperature. In clinical settings, we often utilize items such as rice and beans, play-doh, a rolling pin, a vibrating toothbrush, a weighted blanket, warm water pools, hot packs, or even the sensation of wind or a blow dryer. These are just a few of the tools and methods we use. Patients are also instructed on performing desensitization exercises as part of their home exercise program. These exercises help them gradually get used to and become more comfortable with these sensations. Functional desensitization is another approach to practice desensitization for everyday activities, helping patients return to their preferred clothing choices, daily routines, and environments. For instance, let's take the example I mentioned about patients struggling to wear socks. We start by assessing the patient's tolerance. If they can comfortably wear a low-cut sock on their left limb for an hour, we begin there and gradually increase the time over a few days as the patient becomes more comfortable. The next step might involve introducing a higher sock or an above-ankle sock. This gradual progression exposes more surface area to the sock and the associated sensation. Functional desensitization can be applied to various aspects of a patient's daily life. It can include wearing shoes throughout the day, maintaining normal postures while sitting and standing, sleeping with blankets covering their limbs, or even experiencing the contact of the shower stream during bathing. These are just a few examples of how functional desensitization can help patients regain their comfort and ease in everyday activities and situations. For example, using a Kleenex, I'm gonna start on the forearm or right below the elbow. Use firm pressure, almost as if I'm moving the skin. That's how you know you're using enough pressure. Working on going into the hand and into the fingers if tolerable. That would be one swipe. That's tolerable to a patient. Do a second swipe and assess how many swipes are tolerable for a patient to incorporate at the as part of one part of the daily exercise. The goal is to do the same amount of swipes six times a day. Here's a little more advanced activity using shaving cream as it provides a cool different texture than using the Kleenex. Again, same thing I'm working on going towards my hand. You want to see the skin move. This offers a little bit of a temperature experience because the shaving cream is cool and I'm increasing the pressure a little bit because I tolerated the lighter, firmer pressure in the previous video. Here are the references should you have further need to review this technique please visit our website at pedspainmedicine.org. And thank you again for watching another Society for Pediatric Pain Medicine Visual Pearl series.